Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out the latest Build the Gear Strive character drop. Uh, Elfield Valentine is now in the game, as of, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> um, it's pretty exciting. Um, Elfield is, as her name implies, a Valentine. Uh, and since I like to do a little bit of a lore drop for each character as we go, and we haven't had any Valentines since I started playing the game yet. Uh, we had one in Season 1, but I wasn't, I wasn't around, so I missed that chance. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a lore drop and try to explain what the deal is with Valentine's before we get started. Uh, a little bit of a presentation. We start with this woman. This is Arya Hale. She is a very important character um, in the lore of Guilty Gear and, and the story. Um, basically, she was around in like the 1990s, something like that, uh, and she was a scientist working with uh, Frederick Balsara, who eventually ended up being Soul Bad Guy, you can probably recognize him, uh, as well as with Asuka R. Kruitz, who, uh, as you probably know, is in this game now and it's also playable. <laughs> so these three working together basically created Gears. Um, they invented Gear Cells, which they were going to use to basically end disease because they're wonderful people and trying to do good things for the world. Uh, that didn't quite turn out the way they were hoping, <laughs> Arya ended up becoming a command type gear by the name of Justice, uh, who looked kind of like this, uh, and she ended up getting killed by Soul Bad Guy in the first Guilty Gear game, uh, because she did a war and some horrible things happened and she just basically kind of had to die, but he felt really bad about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, this... This image is actually from Accent Core, but Justice did die in the first game. She just sort of shows up later as like, here's what Justice was up to in the past before she died, kind of thing. Uh, so, the original Arya Hale is dead. Uh, she has been dead for a long time. Uh, but, that brings us to this game. Guilty Gear 2 Overture is actually the fourth game in the series, kind of. <laughs> they did Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear X, Guilty Gear XX and then Guilty Gear 2. And each of the X games had a bunch of different revisions and updates and stuff, but this is the fourth, like, distinct game title. And from the from the name, you can sort of infer it was supposed to be a bit of a direct sequel to the first one. Um, this game wasn't received very well. This one's not a fighting game. This is actually kind of a action, uh, real-time strategy kind of game. It's sort of like Dynasty Warriors is a good, a good comparison. It's sort of like that. Uh, and people didn't like it. <laughs> but it is quite important to the story. Uh, you can see Sol in the front there, and Sin back there. Sin was introduced in this game. Uh, and this other person here, that's Valentine. Uh, so Valentine, get another look at her here, is like an artificial person created using Arya Hale as a template. Which is why she looks a little bit like Arya Hale, but also is her own weird thing. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a bit strange, and she was the main antagonist, uh, in that, in that first game, basically. Uh, and she didn't have a whole lot of development. She eventually, like, remembers who Soul is right near the end, uh, but then she dies. So, she's not likely to come back again. Uh, but in the next game in the series, Guilty Gear Exard, uh, they went back to their roots, they did fighting games again, uh, and we met the Universal Will. Uh, who is the person who was creating Valentine in the first place. And in this game, uh, the Universal Will has created two more Valentines using the same template. And one of them is this girl here, Elfelt. Uh, the, the one with the pink hair, the blonde one is, is high key, so that's not, 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 not Elfelt. Uh, and so Elfelt Valentine and her sister, Ramlethor Valentine, uh, were essentially the two main characters of Guilty Gear Exard Sign. Um, they were both programmed to destroy humanity by the Universal Will, who wants to wipe out humanity and replace it with better humanity, or something like that. Um, and Ram was created first, uh, and she was created to be like an emotionless weapon sort of thing, which is why she's so monotone and autistic and all the time. Um, whereas Elfelt was created later, the Universal Will having already decided that Ramlethor was a failure, uh, and so the Universal Will decided we put emotions into this one, and Elfelt is bubbly and enthusiastic and uh, very excitable all the time. Uh, and she was programmed to be 
like a sleeper agent, a Manchurian candidate sort of thing, uh, where she wasn't aware at first that she was a Valentine uh, until she was getting married uh, to a death metal singer and wouldn't experience love. Like, she was programmed to not be able to have that feeling because Universal Will is kind of a dick. <laughs> is entirely the reason. Uh, and, like, that sort of... Because that felt wrong, it kind of tripped her programming and she activated as a Valentine who was supposed to destroy the world. Uh, but because she was, despite being... Because she could, even though she couldn't feel love, she felt it anyway, and she felt it so strongly that she basically rejected that programming outright and decided she would help the good guys, help them stop her sister. And uh, then she bonds a lot with Sin and with Ramlethal. And there's this whole story about basically these two Valentines who were created to be weapons uh, to destroy people, to kill everyone, uh, being loved and accepted as part of the family, especially by Sin, because he's a delightful person. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you can see that they just getting along really well with Sin there. Ram's having some trouble because of her extreme autism, basically. Of her sleep. Um, but yeah, you probably have seen Alpha look like this. This is the design she had in Exile Revelator, which was the next game, and that was the one that focused mostly on Jacko Valentine. Uh, but yeah, Elfelt's design changed a little bit between Exod Sign and Exod Revelator, uh, for story reasons. She got kidnapped by the Universal Will, some stuff happened. Uh, but yeah, that's what she looked like in Revelator. And then, this is what she looked like in Strive until now. Um, so it's sort of, it's the same, like, colour scheme as her Revelator design, but it's different clothes, different hairdo, sort of, a little bit different. Um, and... Nearly everyone on the screen is screenshot is now playable. This is from Strive's, um... This is from the story mode. It's like, just, it shows up in the epilogue. You just see this. Don't play it. Uh, because Strive's story mode is weird. <laughs> and yeah, the only person here who's not playable now is Dizzy in the background there. And I am desperate for Dizzy to be playable in this game. I would be so happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Elfeld in Exard... He... Was obsessed with getting married um he because because her programming had activated during her wedding and she couldn't feel love properly uh he had this fixation on finding a suitable like partner to marry and experience love that way but a lot of the plot of exard was about how she didn't really need that that she and ram would be loved and accepted by the Kiesk family, and especially by Sin, in like, a found family sort of way, uh, and they didn't necessarily need romantic love to be happy and comfortable and accepted, and it was really sweet. <laughs> um, and so they've kind of built on a lot of that for her Strive iteration, which has just dropped. Here she is. Uh, you can see it's got a lot of a mix of her two previous designs, because she's got like her modern hair, uh, but she's also got a lot of pink, uh, like Seinfeld did, which is cool. Um, and she's like a little bit less wedding-y and a bit more... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the right, right words are, but you can see she looks different. <laughs> um, and it looks like rather than being fixated on marriage and trying to complete herself in that way, she has already fulfilled herself. Um, by being a death metal singer. <laughs> and rather than trying to get people to marry her, she is now trying to get them to join her fan club as a singer. Um, it's just a perfect, like, continuation of the sort of themes we were seeing with her in Exile, and I think that's delightful. <laughs> uh, so, with Elfelt now being playable, that is, the three Valentines from Exile are all in this game now. It is unlikely that Valentine from Overture will be added, but we'll see. We'll see, you never know. Um, she is dead, but you know, people might come back. <laughs> uh, and that's just a placeholder in my uh, slideshow that I forgot about. <laughs> yeah, OBS is weird. Anyway, um, so Elfelt's in the game now, and we're gonna check her out. Uh, and I'm using an appropriately colored controller, so... <laughs> okay, uh, we're just gonna just jump into training mode and try our buttons out. Uh, 
she's actually under my face over here. Um, but you'll be able to see her over there, so that's fine. So she's a rushdown in this game, apparently. I believe in Exarch she was more of a zoner, so we'll see how that's developed. Uh, and you can see she's pretty adorable. <laughs> I haven't really seen all her color schemes because I haven't played the game yet. Uh, so this is her default. This one looks like it's inspired by her Seinfeld look with the pink hair and the, like, the white clothes. I like that. Uh, then you've got this one where she looks pretty cool. I'm getting a little bit of an Eno vibe from that, which is cool. Oh, that's great. Um, a lot of these are just fun color schemes. I, they don't really seem to correspond a whole lot. We have a Goss look, which is awesome. Uh, the Tron lines look everyone has in color 12. And yeah, these are pretty standard. But yeah, she's got a default color, which is this one, but it's a bit of a mix of her two styles, and this one's a bit more uh, fine like if you prefer that, I suppose. I'll go with color one. Uh, and I'll just, I guess, chuck Kai in against her, that's fine. Just so I can test it out. Um, her theme, I've only had a little bit because it was in the trailer. It does not sound like I expected, uh, but it makes sense for her character. It's very death metal, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting her to have more of a bubbly theme in sort of the same vein as uh, May and Jacko and Bridget have. Um, like sung by Aisha probably, but it's not that. It's something different. Um, hopefully this is working. It's taking longer than I expect. You shouldn't be able to hear the actual lyrics to Sky Should Be High during loading. Oh, uh, I seem to have Kai set to uh, CPU mode. Let me just toggle that <laughs> so I can practice. Okay, so here we go. We've got Elfelt here. Uh, a back jump is pretty smooth. Uh, he has normal double jumps and air dashes. Nothing too unusual there. Uh, let's try our buttons. That's a punch. She oh, she does like the. the <laughs> I love that. She's doing this. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, and her kick is pretty much a kick, but she's leaning on her gun, which is cool. Uh, uh, slash is, yeah, swing with the gun, and, oh, her heavy slash is she actually gets out a gun and shoots it. Um, interesting. So, in Exarch, she had a shotgun and a sniper rifle as her two weapons, uh, and it was like a stance-based thing where you had to equip one of them. It looks like she's a bit more automatic now, she just whips out, that looks pretty much like a shotgun, uh, when I just hit heavy slash. Uh, that's fast slash, close slash. Oh, the close slash is she swings it down. I like that. Okay, uh, we crouch. Uh, when she's crouching, her punch is pretty much the same. Uh, her kick is a little different, but the same basic idea. Uh, that's a slash. Oh, and a heavy slash slides you forward. Okay, kind of like Johnny, but I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Um, then we have taunts. So, my first album has to talk about me and going old together. Oh yeah, um, Elfel sort of famously had these really long monologues in some of her quotes, so they have kept up that tradition. <laughs> So yeah, um, in Exarch she would like try to get people to sign marriage certificates. It looks like they've changed that. So now people are trying just trying to get everyone to sign up for her fan club. I love that. <laughs> uh, let's try a few more removes so we get an idea of how she fights. Yeah, that's good. 6p. Yeah, that's a solid 6p. 6k is anything? Oh, oh. That's her, um, 6'8". She tumbles forward. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, what's her grab look like? Oh, her grab pulls out like a, a boombox. Oh, I love that. Oh, 
that's so cute. Okay, uh, sweep. Okay, so her dust is like, she charges up a big kick, basically. Okay, kind of like that. Uh, let's look at her specials. I've basically tried all the basic moves now. Uh, okay, so she's got a 6P, everyone does. A standard anti-air. And she's got that tumbly one, uh, which is super adorable. Okay, so I can follow up HS with another... Oh, okay. So I can follow, like, the shotgun H with the sniper rifle H. Or I think that's what these weapons are. <laughs> okay, uh, then we've got a projectile uh, using the big gun, which is called Miss Charlotte. Uh, she has cool names for her weapons. Uh, out of repair? Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, that's a bit like uh, Johnny's tumble forward thing. I like that. Pain lollipop? Oh, you can combo these all together? Okay. Okay, so you activate it with Here I Go. And then you can do up high, down low, and nail it. Okay, so you can you can sneak in a bunch of like different like it, it sort of lets you build a block string uh, because that needs to be blocked high and that needs to be blocked low. And I assume this one's mid. Okay. Giganto de Cafeo, what language is that? Is that like Portuguese? Neat. I don't know what language that is. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's. Big ol' explosion, good stuff. Grab the touch of the bomb for the phone. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay. I believe this is quite different to her moveset in the previous game, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> um... Yeah, it looks like the... The Heavy Slash version might be a little faster, maybe? Maybe it, has, maybe it has to connect, hang on. Okay, yeah, you can only do the follow-up uh, heavy slash if the starting one connects. If you do it from a distance, it doesn't work. Like, I'm pressing the button now and it's not happening. That's not really how guns work, but, you know, whatever. I know, I, I wasn't... Oh, I need to check my deflect shield and stuff. I've got, um... Okay. Okay, yeah, my... I've got pretty standard wild assault. Uh, deflect shield, yeah, it looks normal. Blue? I can't remember which color does what in, in um, wild assault, but... Oh, it has a blue one, apparently. Okay. So, yeah. You can rush with that. Alright. By the way, this is our whole team theme playing. Uh, I don't really know it very well, but you can hear it is quite different to what you might expect. <laughs> and I'm enjoying that. Okay. Alright, let's um, let's talk to her arcade mode, and I'll experiment a little bit. Oh! Oh, Elf Elf. And I'll see how I go in actual gameplay. Um, I'm liking it. <laughs> He's super adorable. Um... Are you saying Elfelt? Her name is Elfelt. You're saying it wrong. <laughs> and I, I know that's right because in the previous character's arcade mode we had Elfelt said by May. <laughs> oh, okay. Nago is our partner character. Interesting. I would have guessed either Sin or, or Ram based on her story, but we'll see what happens. 
mankind knew that they cannot change. They might be going for like left field characters for this whole season because Johnny got a weird one too. Heaven or hell. Oh, her animation is super cute. <laughs> Who goes there? And what did you just draw? Ooh, that's one way to start a love story. FL. Versus. Nakoriyuki. They're saying a name wrong. <laughs> Let's rock. I don't really remember how to play as us. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Put them in a few seconds. <laughs> this isn't going super well. I may end up on normal difficulty. We'll see how we do. Before I win the round, who knows? I've already forgotten how to get into that um, mix-up day with the lollipops. And lollipop or whatever it's called. Let me check the list again. <laughs> okay, so it's circle back into slash and then you hit PKHS. Okay. Not bad. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, a love that starts at marriage. Two hearts that don't even know each other's favorite foods yet squabble their way ever closer. Wait, are you one of my fans? You're what? I'm the shining front woman of the once in a millennium band Spayothos Fanaticus, known for my ultra relatable lyrics about love and marriage. News to me. Now, love me with <laughs> all your soul. <laughs> What? Where'd I put my wedding dress? Hey, wait! See you later, dear! Stop, you romantic rascal! <laughs> you romantic rascal. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so I I didn't go into normal difficulty there. I'm still on extreme, so we'll see if I drop to hard or if I actually have to go back and play on normal because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ah, oh, Axel time. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or I really like her intro animation. It's super cute. I'm playing the lead here, got it? Oh, you're British. Oh, phew! I almost lost my marriage certificate. I, I mean, my show flyer. FL versus Axel. Wait. Is her gun actually the flyer? Alright, yeah, Axel's a long range guy, so I should probably try to take close to him if I can. Ow. Oh, adorable. Wins. He's so cute. Let's 
animation look like. Oh, this is awesome. Line up for autographs. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love you, Elfeld. <laughs> uh, Batman, okay. I don't know if L has unique interactions with anyone. It's not documented yet because the game just came out, you know. <laughs> Not the game, the character. But... Page three. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Damn, they sure did. So instead of reflecting on themselves, I'm still not really sure why this is the Bedman stage. Well... But they put out a new stage uh, along with the character, but they don't use that stage. It's strange. You can't stop it. I, I know that their story is connected. Delilah's story is connected to Faust, but it's, it's a bit strange. And now, I'm gonna catch your heart! FL The announcer is definitely pronouncing her name wrong. That might be on purpose though. Um, in XR, one of the possible announcers was May, and she hadn't learned how to pronounce Elfelt's name yet. It was like a deliberate thing that she fucked it up. So it's possible that they're doing that again with this with the announcer guy in this game. Although the announcer is not a character, so I don't know. I really love the victory animation. It's so cool. <laughs> My mic is always hot. FL wins. So cool. <laughs> hey, Jigger. Actually, it's kind of odd that uh, Jigger's stage is original Times Square and not White House Reborn. I think that's because White House Reborn was another DLC stage and Jiro is a base roster character. That they cannot change society. I'm not sure. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they what? play the beasts, huh? heaven, or hell. Yeah, that's, that is definitely a flyer for her band. The band's name is on it. So it is actually not a marriage certificate. I will neutral this. She's just got a habit of calling it a marriage certificate, I guess. Okay, we both rushed down characters going to the game, so we'll see how this goes. Wow. He's 
match victory. It's so cool. Line up for autographs. Oh, elf elf. Page five? Oh, you know. Hey, you know. It is random who you get, except in stage one, stage seven, and stage eight. And stage seven is only predetermined on extreme routes, so if I do end up dropping to hard, we'll see what we get. I probably should at least lose a round drop to hard because extreme is really hard. <laughs> like when you get to stage eight, in particular. <laughs> maybe maybe Elfold is just really easy to play. Yep, she summons a guitar. Oh, we're both musicians. They're gonna be like something relevant here because we're both musicians. That'd be cool. Yeah, those lines might go together. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm a fan. Hey, May. Might have an interaction. We may have an interaction. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Did. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they gotcha! play the beasts, heaven, or hell. Oh. You don't look so tough. Yeah, that's a stand line. And now, I'm gonna catch your heart. 
There you are. FL versus May. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Stage 7, I'm still in extreme. That is gonna give me the rematch with Nago, but he's harder, and then the actual boss. I guess I'll see how I go. There's a good chance I don't win this. <laughs> I get stuck. Unless I'm Elephant's much easier to play than Bridget, which is a possibility. In which case, I just steamroll both of these characters and I'm fine. Here comes Daredevil. Because, yeah, I, I haven't been able to beat stage 8 on Extreme as Bridget. Uh, and that gets you to stage 9, which I've never seen as any character. Because this game is hard. <laughs> um, but if Elf Health is that much easier to play, maybe I will, be, I will be seeing stage 9 right now. The plural of coincidence is fate! Listen to me! Ready to work out a prenup? Duel 1. Let's rock! Ow. Oh, that could happen. Seven's done. Not too much hard hassle. Let's commit to a five-minute minimum on conversations, no matter how busy we get. And I won't quit my band even if we start a family, because I've got to give people hope with my music. Continue as you will. One must stay on their path, no matter who stands in their way. However, this has nothing to do with me. You're right. My music motivates people, but my motivation is you. I'll commit to both. So you found your path. Yes! And it leads me down the aisle with my beloved husband. <laughs> Faust, really? Okay. I'm surprised neither of the characters uh, in Elle's arcade mode are Sin or Ran. It seems like the obvious choices. I guess they're trying to do something different. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Damn it. 
dangerous. A book turns a street corner into love's own sumo ring. FL versus Faust. Dual one. Faust is tall. Let's rock. Ow. Yeah, I haven't really had practice fighting Extreme Faust. I've only really had practice against Extreme Kai, so we'll see how this goes. Not super well, as you can see. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll give this a few more tries, but I have a feeling I need to play on a, a lower difficulty with the character that we just started using. Close. That went really well, actually. Go for the loss. No puzzle. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with Jack Rogers. I haven't fought Faust that many times. <laughs> uh, I'll give it one more shot, uh, and then we're going to play in a lower difficulty so I can see an ending. Oh, I like to see this animation at least. Fast even works. <laughs> he does look weird shit with items. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I'm good enough at fighting Faust or playing Elfell to beat Extreme Stage 8 just yet. So I'm just gonna go back to the main menu. Uh or back to character select, and I'm just gonna throw an earlier stage so that we can see what happens on the hard right ending. Hey Nago. <laughs> Dual 
Okay, so I'm going to throw one round, probably near the beginning here, just to dial it back down a bit hard instead of extreme. That's how it works, if you lose in stages 2 to 7, one round, then it puts you on hard route instead of extreme round. Reflecting on themselves, beasts, heaven, or hell. So pretty. I'm sure I'll be done. In 198 seconds. Nerd. Oh, phew. Promotion isn't easy, but I might as well enjoy it. FL versus Asuka. Duel They're pretty. Let's rock. <laughs> around uh, hit me again <laughs> uh, hit me again oh you're so pretty well, I'm not doing anything now it's easy there we go okay round thrown now I'll win the next one and I'll be on hard ground Doesn't 
Slash. Okay. okay, now we get the cool scream. So great. Okay, we're now on hard rather than extreme, so I should be able to clear it now. <laughs> I'm not really great at fighting Faust, but if he's not as difficult to Faust, I should be. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, hmm? they gotcha! beasts, <laughs> heaven, or hell. Oh. Well, to a dazzling encounter. And now, I'm gonna catch your heart. Oh. FL versus Tessas. Duel one. Let's rock. In. We might have a unique interaction. We'll see. It would make sense if we do. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves. You can skip this, by the way. I just want to see what the interactions are. <laughs> Oh. No five-year-olds without a guardian. FL <laughs> versus. Child, you're younger than him. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not super clear. <laughs> Dusting. 
She's so cool! <laughs> also, yeah, like, she was created after Sin was born, so she's probably technically younger, even though she's amplitude from an adult woman. It's... The artificial people in this series are a bit strange. <laughs> that was a cute interaction, though. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they what? blame the beasts, huh? heaven, or hell. Hey, go to us. Eliminate mission obstruction. Oh, phew! I almost lost my merit certificate. I, I mean, my show flyer. FL versus Gold Lewis. Duel 1. Let's rock! Yeah. Stage 7 should be not Nagari Yuki, because that's how it works on hard. It's the other random one. Now's your chance to become a fan! I'm such a fan. <laughs> okay, stage. It's Jackie! They might have an interaction. Maybe. I haven't faced Ram yet, and I feel like the most likely place for interaction with that Elle would have would be with her sister, but. We haven't seen one yet, so I don't know if there is one. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Trick or treat! That's a standard line. How was that? Interesting. Like, it would make a lot more sense for these two to have an interaction, but I guess there's just one. Jackie. Stage 7 will be another random character. Now's 
Now's your chance to become a fan! Can I join your fan club, please? They're great. May again, okay. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So it instead is. of reflecting on themselves, Wait. the beasts, heaven, or hell. You don't look so tough. Oh, phew. Promotion isn't easy, but I might as well enjoy it. FL versus May. Duel one. Let's rock. Stage eight, which will be fast again. I'm looking at something really weird in this one particular arcade moon has a different boss running on difficulty, but I doubt it. <laughs> Now's your chance to become a fan. Yeah, it's fast. Interestingly, it's in Laura Della Lyria. Fast stage is the the, the happy family one with like the boxes everywhere. It's it's not it's not Laura Del Illyria. So it's kind of weird. Oh. We collide in the street. Will love come crashing in? Whoa. Yes. It's a high impact meet cute. Safety first. I finally caught up with you. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Here we hit. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so busy with three characters. I'm really not sure how they're gonna handle the mode with six people. <laughs> it might be like a one at a time kind of thing, but we don't know yet. Oh, that's a round boss. I will not make 
Like first has to say personal space. Adorable. Oh my god. You're getting vaporized. You're on hard. I just, just don't really know how to fight Faust is the thing. I'll, I'll give it another shot. We got closer that time. I should be fine. I'm gonna take a try or two. doing this making it rain fire like that because I don't know his moveset. <laughs> I assume it's like an upgraded version of the item grab thing but I don't know the details. There we go. I'm sorry, but I'm already promised to another. Wait, what the heck is this? An afro. We've got matching afros. Good impact protection. All right, now we can bump into each other as hard as we like. Scratch <laughs> that. What's love without the thrill of a little risk? I'm sorry. Likewise. I got too caught up in the love in front of me. But I think my future husband will be upset if we have matching afros. Wrong. I have no intentions of marrying. You sure can be the jealous type. <laughs> if you're that worried, you can put a ring on it right now. That's right. Let's elope, darling. What? Oh, congratulations. I actually wrote a wedding march just for a time like this. That's nice. You can't possibly be serious, can you? Say something. I will now sing Spayotos Fanaticus' very own wedding march. <gasps> Get away from me! Oh my god. Once there is <laughs> game over. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna really quickly go into a versus match with Ram to see if there is an interaction. I feel like there probably should be, but I don't know if there is. Society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they what? fight for beasts, huh? heaven, or hell. Very different people, these two. Missing hamburger instant rock. Grime suspect found. 
Oh, this is unique. This is unique. It wasn't me. Mine's gone too. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to lose and win so I can hear both of the of like the win line. rematch that and now I'll throw so we can see what Ram says. Come on, hit me. Didn't go to just, I wasn't trying to do that. Attack me. Maybe you should turn the difficulty up a bit so she attacks a bit more aggressively. <laughs> as Rushdown and Johnny was listed as Zoning, I feel like they play kind of similarly. Uh, it could just be that I'm bad at playing Johnny though, because I don't play him very much. Uh, but you've got like a move like this that's like advanced forward on your 2H, um, and you've got the flippy move uh, like this as well, which are both things that are parts of Johnny's arsenal, so it kind of feels similar. Um, especially with the way you have three versions of, of the move in order to hit high, low, or mid. Um, like, it, it feels like there's some similarity there. Um... Um... I really love the design, obviously, and the writing is really funny. <laughs> Especially with Ram and Elle, they're so cute together. Oh, Goofus sisters. Um, I'm not really sure if this is how uh, L played in XR. I think she was quite different, but I'm not really sure. And I, but I like how she plays here, so I don't have a huge issue with different. And animation is super cute, the dialogue is super cute. I believe her voice is the same one from Sign, and it's really good for this. She sounds great. Sorry, I might have overdone it. 
Oh, they're so cute, so cute. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, that's Elfeld. I don't know why the game announcer calls her Ethelt or whatever, but yeah, her name's Elfeld. <laughs> and she's in the game now. Um, and that's about it. Um, I don't know if... I I'm probably not going to switch mains. I'm a lot better with Bridget, obviously, because of all my practice, but... I really like her, and I'll be experimenting and seeing how I go. She might be like a pocket character or something. We'll see how things go. Uh, I also really want to listen to her theme more thoroughly because I've been talking over it here and hearing game noises and stuff. And during arcade, you don't even hear it because you're playing as her. Um, so I'm gonna look it up and make sure it's. I mean, and not make sure it's good. It, it, it is good. I'm gonna look it up so I know what it sounds like and actually hear it and enjoy it. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it, really. Um, we got a new character, and I like her. <laughs> and yeah, um, I am getting... He's gonna bring the thing back up again. <laughs> like, even though she's marked as Rushdown, and Johnny is, I think, the only character marked as Zoning. Oh, Testerin has it too now. They might have changed that. I'm not sure. Balance. I'm trying to look up zoning. Oh, Axel is zoning. Yeah, I think they've changed up some of this stuff. Like, even though, yeah, Elfelt is marked as Rushdown and Johnny's marked as zoning, they feel like they play kind of similarly. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I understand that um, you're meant to use Mistfire and it hit specific spots, and that's how you zone properly. And L doesn't really do that, but. A lot of the way I'm playing Johnny, which is probably bad, <laughs> is very similar to how I'll seem to play. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, they're saying Elfelt, which is wrong. It's Elfelt. Elfelt Valentine. It could be on purpose, it could be a joke based on the fact that uh, one of the announcer voices in the previous game couldn't pronounce her name. But May was more obvious about it uh, in the previous game. She went like, Eriferu, ah, rather than going, just saying it wrong. She tried to pronounce the name and was pissed off because she couldn't pronounce Elfelt's name. Um, whereas here, it's just, it's just the name being wrong. Elfelt. Elfelt. Ramlethal Valentine. That one's right. Ramlethal. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Um, I like her. I like. I like Elfel. Uh, and I like that she's got a color scheme that basically matches her sign look because a lot of people, you know, liked her better in that game uh, and prefer Seinfeld over Revelator Felt. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's pretty adorable, and I like her music, and her interactions with Ram are super duper cute, and good for them. Uh, and yeah, we have an extra, extra Daredevil now. Good stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I would have modded her with like cat ears and stuff, but like, she just came out and there aren't any mods yet. It's the reason why she's not wearing them. Uh, Bridget's got a cute outfit. If we'd gotten around to her, you would have seen it, but we, we didn't, because she didn't show up in the in the shuffle. But yeah, there she is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, in terms of archetypes and stuff, but I like her, and I'm very excited that she's part of the cast now, and I like her new design, and she's really funny. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Such a cutie. Also, it's pretty neat that she has her microphone built into her gun. Like, I, I just think that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I honestly probably really suck at playing Johnny, given that I feel like these two characters play similarly, even though they're supposed to have exact opposite sort of archetypes. <laughs> um, granted, I've only played Johnny like a little tiny bit. 
I, I focus more on Bridget seeing a little bit of Asuka. Uh, yeah, I'll put in the game. And the game calls her Ethel. 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 I don't get it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>